Like, technically, they apologized, but that wasn't it for me. Okay, so something's happened, and now you need an apology and repair in the situation. In part one, we talked about how the apology is the acknowledgement, and the repair is the return back to the relationship. And now I want to talk about why the apology you've been getting may not be resonating with you at all. My name's Lena. I created the fight languages, which are the five different types of people in a fight, and each one of those fight languages receives an apology in a very different way. For example, if you have the igniter fight language, you want the apology to be brief. You want to know this stuff isn't going to happen again, that they understand the damage that they caused, and then you want to move on. But if you're apologizing to someone that has the amplifier fight language, they're going to hear your apology. They're going to be like, cool, thanks. Now let me tell you how I felt in that. And if you're the igniter, you're going to be like, what? I just apologized. Why are you trying to pick a fight with me again? And the amplifier is like, yeah, you apologize. Now I want to tell you how I feel. I'm not trying to pick a fight. I'm trying to have a conversation. This is why if the igniter went into it knowing, okay, cool, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to own my part and then I'm going to listen because this next part isn't about me. They're telling me about them. Suddenly everybody's having a very different experience and apologies are actually resonating. So the repair that needs to come next is way more effective. Okay, if you want to learn more about fighting better, you can head to fightlanguages.com, take the quiz, find out what your fight language is, and change the way you fight.